Hey everybody, Brooks from Drag Times here. Today's video is on autopilot with the Tesla. If you're new to the channel, I have two Teslas. I have a Tesla Model X 100D, which I'm sitting in right now. And behind me, I have the Tesla Model S P100D. Now I bought the Tesla Model S P100D when it first came out and it has autopilot 1.0. The original autopilot came out with the P85D. It has one camera in the front and uses radar to do its autopilot functions. Uh, shortly after that, the new autopilot 2.0 hardware came out and I kind of got stuck with this car. And since then, there hasn't really been a reason to upgrade for me. There hasn't been a lot of new features with autopilot that uh, triggered me to, hey, say I need the new autopilot. Now, in the Model X 100D that I'm sitting in now, we have autopilot 2.0 which actually has eight cameras in the car in addition to the radar and just recently with version 9 of the tesla software they came out with a new feature called navigate on autopilot which actually starts to use all the new features or the cameras and the hardware so in this video i'm going to go over using navigate on autopilot on a road trip from south florida to tallahassee florida which included two charging stops i'm going to go over using mad max mode which is how aggressive it is when it switches lanes uh when the tesla gets behind a car and it's slowing down in traffic it'll look left and right and just, and ask you if you want to move over or right to go around that car it'll also notify you an upcoming uh, exit and ask you to confirm that you want to take that exit. When you do so, we go over watching the car actually move over, taking the exit. At one point, there was actually a semi truck next to us and the Tesla couldn't get over. It actually slowed very slow down, waited for the semi to go, moved over, got off the exit and continued to merge on to the next highway, which is really cool. Some other things I noticed, we came into a construction zone. The Tesla actually recognized the construction cones and barricades and came up, came up with a notification on the dash that said, construction zone detected, limited navigate on autopilot. So I wasn't able to get that. I wasn't aiming the camera at the dash to get that, but just to let you know that the car is actually very aware of its environment. Autopilot has come a long way uh, since the original autopilot. So uh, here's the video. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the function here in the dash, head out, and uh, give you a demonstration of auto navigate on autopilot in the Tesla Model X. All right, so first you tap your control screen right here, you go to autopilot, and from here you will see the navigate on autopilot beta option. Click there, it gives you a big disclaimer about disclaiming what it can do um, and so forth. Just click yes. From there you have navigate on autopilot, customization options and here's where you get speed based lane changes disabled mild average and mad max we chose mad max for our drive and you can see it was pretty aggressive about uh you know when traffic slows down to move left or right to go around the car in front of you and proceed so here we go let's head off to uh tallahassee florida all right so we're on a trip to tallahassee florida we're stopping over in orlando first whoops a model pilot just yelled at me uh so we're gonna try out navigate on autopilot which was released a couple weeks ago i've seen a couple of videos on it and i enabled the beta here in the settings so if we get to where we're going today which is uh, this address right here so it's going to calculate our route um, to this hotel in orlando because we're stopping over before we head up to tallahassee all right so there we go i found a supercharger in fort drum based on florida 91 north for 1.6 miles and there's an option here called navigate on autopilot. So if you press that button and begin trip, we're all set for navigating on autopilot. So it shows there's a turn here, 1.2 miles, 120 miles on this name road. And then the display up here changes, right? So, so the autopilot display has changed now. It shows all lines of the highway and a blue line straight in front of the uh, car. So right now, what it's supposed to do if there's traffic in front of you, it'll ask you to confirm that you want to change lanes into a faster lane. And at that point you hit the turn signal uh, to enable the to car to change. And then some other things light up here as far as the road, it'll show a red line if someone's in your way. And then after that person leaves your, uh, gets out of your way, you can actually, it'll, the car will move over for you. So up coming here in two miles, it wants me to change lanes. Okay, so right now it's saying confirm lane change to follow the route. You can turn signal to confirm. Now I'm looking to make sure no one's there. I'm gonna hit the turn signal, and as you can see, it draws the line there, and actually we moved over a lane into a faster lane of traffic. 
All right, so when it asks you to move over lane, it says you can either use your turn signal or pull the cruise control stock to confirm. If you pull the cruise control stock, it automatically puts a turn signal on and moves over. So I'm gonna do that right now. So it says confirm lane change. I'm gonna hit the, hit the cruise control, it puts a signal on for me and move, moves over automatically and turns the turn signal off as well. So I like that much better. I don't, that way I don't have to turn on and off the turn signal. All I do is tap the cruise control, the car puts a signal on, moves over. After the lane change is complete, the turn signal turns off. That's super cool. All right, here we go. It says confirm lane change, but there's a car over there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit confirm and see what it does. Oh, it went to the right. <laughs> All right, so I did, that's interesting. I didn't know which direction it was going. I thought I was going to the left, there was a car there. It saw that there was no car on the right-hand side and chose to go that way instead. All right, so here we go, it says confirm lane change. I know there's someone in the blind spot. The light comes up red in that left lane. That guy moved over, the car immediately detected it and moved my car over. Pretty cool. All right, so we're coming up on our first exit here into this four drum service plaza to charge. And now take the exit on the left. And it was, it moved over all by itself. I didn't touch anything. So it says navigate on autopilot ending 200 feet. Well, that was interesting. So, so I thought it was gonna ask me to pull the stock for the exit, but the car actually just took the exit all on its own put the signal on and said autopilot on navigate is ending. So here we are at the supercharger. We'll charge up and uh, head out and do some more testing. All right, so we're coming up on our first exit off one highway and merge onto another. In two miles, we're coming off of I-75 going on to I-10 West to Tallahassee. In one mile, take exit 435 on the right onto Interstate 10 West toward all right, so on the screen here it says upcoming lane change. Let's see what autopilot asks us to do here. Confirm lane change to fall route. So you have to hit the cruise control. You hit the cruise control? All right, so the car is now slowing down to get behind this guy and move over. So that worked out pretty well. Now we got a half a mile to go to exit off onto I-10. Now take exit Did it do it automatically? Yep. All right, so we didn't touch anything. And the car put the turn signal on and moved to the right. And now it's got to move again over to the left and stay west. All right, so there you go. No hands. Without any input at all, the car took the exit ramp, moved over a lane, and went left as well. And I was pulling a hard left around this corner here and actually slowing down. Now it's got to merge into traffic. So now it's confirm lane change again on the screen. Did you hit the cruise control? I did. Okay. And there we go. So successfully merged from one highway to the other we're just confirming with the uh, cruise control stock. Pretty impressive. Autopilot's coming away. Has come a long way since we first started a couple years ago. All right, so it's almost time to charge. We've got 1.5 miles to the supercharger. We're gonna stay in the left lane here because the car is gonna need to move over one lane and then take the exit right up here. So let's see what the car does. All right, so we're 0.19 miles away. The car's gonna have to move over and take the exit. Confirm change, go ahead. All right, so we're confirming, but it's got a red line because there's a truck right here. So the car's automatically slowing down right now. Getting a little confused. <laughs> it doesn't know what to do. It's slowing down, but the truck is slowing down too. So let's see what happens. We got upcoming lane change right here. Big rig right here. All right, so the car is slowing down automatically to let the truck go by. And now it's moving over. Wow, that's impressive. 
definitely sketched out for a minute because the truck was slowing down as well. And now it's taking the exit right here automatically. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto US Highway 129. All right, so autopilot, on navigate on autopilot ended because we took the exit. There you go. And we're pulling up to the supercharger right here at the Busy Bee Supercharger in, where are we at? Live Oak on our way to Tallahassee. All right, we're in Live Oak and here's the supercharger and no one's here. Not like California where you gotta wait in line. Got any choice we want. All right, we're arriving at Tallahassee. Upcoming lane change confirmed. Moving over automatically. And now it's got to slow down and exit. We're going 80 miles an hour. Let's see what happens. We're going 209A. Did we miss the exit? No, 0.2 miles. Applied the brakes, moved over a lane. We're not doing anything here. And it's taking the exit and it just, what is that noise? What did it say? And here we go. Not bad. Slowed the car down automatically, reduced the speed. Took the exit, now it's gotta merge onto this upcoming highway. Should be interesting. Got cars coming. Here it goes. We gotta merge here, it's slowing down. Autopilot complete, I want you to take over now. Okay. All right, so there you go. Let me know in the comments what you think of how the Tesla did with this new Navigate on autopilot. Actually enjoyed using it a lot. However, I do feel like Tesla while the autopilot features have become more advanced over the past couple of years, especially with all these additional cameras and additional hardware, I feel like the nagging has increased and it's really, really annoying. I mean, I got my, all my hands on the steering wheel and it's still nagging me at highway speeds every 15 to 20 seconds. Now, when the original autopilot came out in the Tesla Model S, it wouldn't ask you at all unless it really got confused about what was happening. So it's weird that, you know, we're progressing with autopilot, uh, autopilot's capabilities, but yet moving back towards, you know, less towards autonomous driving and really having you having to fight the steering wheel all the time. There's a lot of hacks out there. Um, you can actually stick a water bottle on the steering wheel and that little additional weight on the steering wheel, the Tesla won't actually ask you, ask you at all. We actually drove, I was actually on one leg of the trip where the Tesla went two hours on the highway without me having to intervene at all. And that includes merging onto a highway as well. So, uh, you know, I think, um, you know, for legal reasons, obviously Tesla implemented a lot of the additional safety checks to make sure people aren't screwing around or they don't fall asleep. But I feel like it's very naggy. Um, and I'm hoping that um, sometime in the near future that will slowly come away and really let us enjoy the autopilot experience without fighting the steering wheel the whole time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. We got some more stuff coming soon. I got some autopilot uh, 2.0 versus 1.0 battles where I go through a winding road and you can see how much better Autopilot 2 really is. I'm really inclined to upgrade my car to Autopilot 2, but I'm kind of hold off. I'm hoping that Tesla releases a faster Model S soon. That way I have a more of a reason to upgrade. Also I'd like to drop a quick note in here about the Tesla Furl program. If you're looking to buy a Tesla Model 3, X, or S, I'd appreciate if you use my referral code. I'm about 24% on my way to getting a free Tesla Roadster. And obviously you've seen a lot of drag racing or racing videos with me and the Tesla. I would love to get that Roadster and just beat up on all kinds of supercars and have a lot of fun with it. So if you're looking to buy a Tesla, Use my referral card, it's really appreciated. So there you go, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.